Hello again, it's Nikki here and welcome to another video. I know it's been a while, I'm very sorry. Um, I'd like to I'd like to go into a little bit of the reason why I've been MIA for like five months or however long it's been. But firstly, I'd like to just introduce this painting that we're watching because I'm extremely proud of it. It turned out really nicely. I've been super into acrylic painting since probably the back end of last year. As you will know if you watch my channel because I did the that fox Christmas card design was all in acrylic paints and I think I spoke in that video about how much I enjoyed doing acrylic painting. It's tough, don't get me wrong, it's quite hard to do because I'm still like not super confident with it so as you'll see in this video, I have trouble with like mixing the colours and getting the correct colours down, which probably isn't so much to do with acrylics as it is to do with me and not knowing colour theory very well. But yeah, I think this piece took me like three and a half, four hours to do in total. It's just on a piece of like MDF board that we got when we bought our treadmill. It came with these bits of board that were like reinforced in the packaging and I just did a couple of layers of gesso, white gesso, and then one layer of white gesso mixed with a little bit of blue acrylic, which I would definitely recommend doing because it gives you a really nice, it's a really nice surface to paint on, but then also having it be blue and not white, I found in this painting actually really helped the colours to pop nicely. I actually painted this piece in February as well. It's been quite a while since I painted this piece, but I just loved it so much that I didn't want to waste the footage, I really wanted to use it and I thought what better way to use it than a little chatty paint with me. So like I said, I've not been around for about five months. Um, I started out the year feeling really uninspired. It was really weird. I was, I think I got a cold and then I was really down, just like really down in the dumps, not feeling good about anything really. I think I was fed up, you know, winter time's like a bit of a rubbish time because it's cold and it's dark and I mean it's still like not really getting any warmer. We're in May now and I'm like when is spring coming because it's cold and I just I think everyone just gets a bit sick of it in winter time so I was feeling really down. I wasn't feeling massively inspired. I did kind of force myself to do quite a lot of painting in January and then I explained in a previous video that my manager had left at work and she hadn't been replaced and then the other girl on my team, so there was three of us, then there was two of us, she revealed that she was going to be leaving <laughs> as well to go travel in, which I was super, obviously super happy for her because that's what she wanted to do, but then I was like, this is about to be only me. So I ended up having to take on a lot of her responsibilities as well as my old boss's responsibilities whilst the two of them were getting replaced, which was horrendous. <laughs> like I really enjoy my job, but doing the job of free people, it was for like a month and a bit I had to do it. It was really tough and obviously I then didn't have any sort of capacity to do any drawing and painting outside work. Um, the only thing I was doing was crochet. My mum taught me how to crochet when she came to visit earlier in the year and I've just been making random weird little things, granny squares. Um, very much the, the Vogue artist thing to do at the minute is crochet. Um, not, I'm not even sorry that I'm exactly the same as all the other ones we're all doing crochet because it's great, I love it. If you haven't tried it you should. But anyway, so yeah so that was really tough and I just, I didn't want to record anything really either, like I recorded a couple of paintings that I did but I didn't really record, I think, I think we went for a couple of walks I might have recorded some footage but mostly I wasn't recording anything, I wasn't recording myself, I didn't want to show my face, I was just trying to like get through it, which was super tough, but ultimately like 
actually really rewarding because the amount of work I managed to get done. I'm like, I'm the sort of person, my self-worth is very much linked to how much work I can do. <laughs> so for someone like that, I was very proud of myself when I came out of the back end of that month or so that I had to work super hard. But obviously YouTube was not a priority, nor was really anything that I enjoyed apart from working. So I'm now coming out the other end of that where I finally got a new manager, we've um, restructured the team in such a way that I'm now doing less design work and more marketing stuff which is really exciting and I'm really enjoying learning about it. So we've now got a new designer who I'm training up and that's been super fun, super nice to um, talk to another designer because like there hasn't been another designer on the team for like a, a year or two now so it was just really nice to talk to someone be really nerdy about like photoshop and in design <laughs> and it also means that I now feel like I have the capacity to make stuff again which is super nice because it means I can start doing YouTube again and I mean I don't know if I'm gonna reopen my Etsy shop. I had to close it back in, I think it was February I had to close it because my printer broke quite drastically, my printer broke, like it would not work because it kept saying that the, um, the print heads needed replacing or something. And it was like, when I Googled it, it, it was like, basically they can't fix it. You're gonna need a new printer. And I was like, this printer cost me like, 500 pounds when I bought it. I can't buy a new printer. So I had to close my shop. I eventually found out that you can in fact change the, no, it was the ink pads, that's right. You can change the ink pads yourself. Um, it does invalidate the warranty, full disclosure, but I have had the printer for about, uh, be coming up to like four years now I've had the printer. So I was like, I'm pretty sure the warranty isn't like valid anyway and if it means I don't have to buy a new one then that's fine. So I did in fact manage to get the printer fixed and then all of the work happened so I haven't actually reopened my Etsy shop since my printer got fixed but I have been thinking quite seriously about outsourcing my art prints because I just think if they're better quality I'll feel much better about selling them. Not that I feel bad about selling my prints, I just think, you know, they could be better quality and I could charge more for them and I wouldn't have to worry about my printer breaking or the nozzles needed cleaning or like the colours not coming out properly because the printer would handle all of that. So I do have the capacity potentially to reopen my Etsy shop, but I'm not going to do it, I don't think, for a little bit, if at all, because I don't want to put too much on, on top of myself again. So yeah, so that's where I've been. I do have ideas for other videos I can do. I really want to get back to posting regularly. I'd love to post maybe every other week. That seems like a doable thing. Um, it's probably going to be less like length, lengthy vlogs like I used to do and it's probably going to be more like short form things, paint with me videos, little projects, because I think was probably going to be more interesting and I think I'd probably like to structure my videos more so that they like encompass like a theme rather than being a bit random and just like this is what I filmed. We're going to Scotland again this year on holiday. Last year we were, we were like Edinburgh and like the east side and this year we're going to be Glasgow and then more the sort of west, northwest side. We're going to Glencoe, Ben Nevis. We're staying in like a, a lockside chalet, like a pod. Oh my god I'm so excited. It's not like I ca actually can't tell you how excited I am and that's in July so we're about we're about two months away so yeah I'm super excited about that so I'm definitely going to record that but I would really like to use a trip to get into plein air painting. I've been super inspired recently by this artist called Sarah Burns who is here on YouTube. She's got some amazing videos I highly suggest that you check her out because her videos are so lovely to watch, very relaxing, very satisfying. She does a lot of landscapes and I've been super inspired by her landscapes and I'd really like to get into drawing and painting from life and drawing and painting on location because that's something I've always really struggled with when I was at uni. We did a whole module on that and I hated it but I just think 
you can create such nice stuff by doing it so I really want to get into it and sort of do it on my own terms because I think at uni it was very much like draw this and I didn't want to draw that so try and get into it on my own terms. So I'm gonna make a little gouache. <laughs> I always say gouache weird. I'm gonna make a little gouache, is it gouache? I'm gonna make a little gouache palette. I've ordered one online. I'm gonna make a little gouache palette and I'm gonna start taking it out with me in the weekends running up to my holiday and I'm gonna do some little paintings and I'd love to document that process so that you can see how rubbish I am, but hopefully how much better I get. <laughs> So yeah, that video hopefully will be coming up and there's a couple more paintings that I've recorded that I can do little chatty paint with me over. So if you do have any questions for the next video that you'd like me to answer, please pop them in the comments and I will either answer them in the comment or I'll answer them in the next video. But yeah, sorry I've been away. Hopefully, hopefully my excuse is good enough. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know I don't need an excuse, but I do feel bad. And it feels like weird and like inconsistent to just like keep dropping off and coming back so yeah thank you so much for watching if you got this far i really hope you enjoyed watching the painting or listening to me blabble on for 10 minutes but yeah i hope you're doing well i hope you're taking care of yourself um i hope you're not working yourself to the absolute bone like i was um do, don't do what i do i'm a terrible example and hopefully I'll see you in a couple of weeks for another video. So take care of yourselves till then. Bye!